Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 9 of my NGN Dark Souls run. So, basically, I took that a bit too slow and the second dog got in the way. Um, he wanted to tumble around and um, get up the stairs as quickly as possible. I kind of dragged my feet a little on that. Um, and I struggled to kill these dogs too. Um, this is a lot easier when the dogs are dead. Um, because the, uh, the Capra demon, demon himself can't really, uh, get up here. So I'm just looking, double checking that the dogs are down and everything's good. So now we are ready to cheese. Um, generally speaking, if you're a little more patient than me with your pyromancy casts, um, all of them will connect, and that should be almost good enough. And then you'll want to supplement with fire bombs, which are a little harder to do, um, given the fact that he's going to be down in, under that archway, and aiming for that's a little more nuanced. Um, so I end up running out of both fire bombs and um, fire balls. Which is kind of a first for me, I think. I don't think I've been in a situation where I've needed to physically swing at this guy before. Um, except when explicitly doing a strategy that involved throwing stuff. And you probably also want to be a bit smarter than me and actually get the firebombs set up in your um, uh, belt before actually going across the fog gate. Um, as you can see, I stupidly wait until during the boss fight. And yeah, these things don't do as much damage, and they're a little harder to work with because they take your direction into consideration instead of um, like the pyromancies, which will turn you around to give you the right way. Um, or maybe I'm talking on my arse and. Um, I was just being more reckless or careless or whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to get out of this spot because I don't like being trapped, but... And I realize he's not going to let that happen. I decide I'm just going to stab him. And there we go. We killed him. So now we have the key to the depths, which is really all we cared about from this guy. Um, so now we have the right to go into a place called the depths. Which, its primary significance is it's going to get us the first NPC that will teach us pyromancy. Um, there is someone who is much better at teaching pyromancy, but um, she doesn't exist unless your pyromancer glove is rank 10 or higher. So you need to start off with this guy's wimpy trainings, and then eventually graduate to her little university level uh, stuff. And so, first we're going to make our way over back to Firelink through uh, yet another shortcut, and we'll uh, restock on Fireballs and Erlen Myers and all that kind of great stuff. Um, and we're also going to meet the moss lady. Um, she sells mosses and transient curses. So at some point when we want to do the uh, New Londo Ruins, we'll probably need to come to her to get some transient curses. Uh, basically the deal is you could either go to the basilisks and become um, cursed, which is a very bad state to be in, or um, you saw that little hand there um, in the merchant's inventory. You can eat one of those and make the universe believe you are cursed for two minutes without any of the ill effects. Um, so that's usually the preferred way to go about doing things. And why we need curse is um, there's these... Um, there's these ghosts with, like, sc scythes for hands that will extend, like, 30 feet and stuff, and if you're not cursed, 
then they're basically in another plane of existence than you. Which means they get to go through your shield that's raised and damage you directly as if you're naked. Um, and when you swing, nothing will happen either. And when you cast, nothing will happen. Um, so basically, they get to mess with you, and you don't get to mess with them. Unless you are cursed. Then, the playing field is leveled, and both sides get to mess with each other. And, um, if you want to survive that hellhole, you're going to need to be able to mess with them. So, yeah, you'll need to cannibalize on some dead hands, but uh, at least we won't have to worry about needing to be really cursed. Because that's not fun. So, I decided I wanted to just reset these guys and not necessarily fight them, but one of them persisted. And you can't use the bonfire with someone persisting and that close to the bonfire, so we need to finish him off. And then we can use the bonfire. That first one with that winking warrior. Uh, which ended up being a um, cruddy shield. And believe it or not, we do actually want these, um, you know, stupid trash items. Because uh, King Seeker Framped. Still haven't figured out the pet name I gave him. But in any case, he will eat any trash you give him. Um, sadly, he doesn't like certain items, and one of which being this uh, uh, special shield that's made of pure dark energy. Um, he'll give you practically nothing for that, but you're going to farm those guys for Titanite chunks eventually, so it's really depressing that um, they don't really go for it. Um, and so now we're going to make our way up this way. Uh, these stairs here and that aqueduct there, that is the intended way that um, the developers wanted us to go after getting to Firelink. Uh, they wanted us to take this path to get into the church eventually in a less roundabout way than we did. Um, but that will give you the triggered encounter of um, meeting the uh, Red Dragon, which means that the Sunbro Bridge will be contaminated. And then you'd also have to fight the Taurus Demon, which we've completely skipped. Um, the Taurus Demon isn't hard or anything like that. Um, although, our build is kind of built to kill him. Um, the person that I've uh, co-opted with on occasion um, on one of my characters um, his deal is he is a knight so you know he starts off level 10 and you know fat rolls and all that kind of stuff so uh, for him to kill the Taurus demon he has to take all his armor off so his uh, fast rolling instead of fat rolling and that's the only way he can do it. He has to just basically avoid taking damage and just have uh, decent rolling rights. And um, we decide we don't really care. I mean, A, we're never fat rolling because uh, our armor is light enough. You know, we're wearing cloth and leather. Um, and B, uh, we've got pyromancy, so we kill him a lot faster than, you know sword or whatever they give knights. Um, so now we are in the depths. Uh, we're going to uh, kill a couple butchers and then uh, free this one guy from the swamp um, and who's going to teach us empyromancies. Uh, so that is going to be it for this video. I will see you next video. Good luck, have fun.